All right, ready for more Dying Light 2? Stay human, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Part 14, I believe, right? Yeah, so, but um, really, thank you guys enough for the support. Uh, now, last video, man, I wanted just to, if you guys haven't seen it yet, go ahead and uh, see it for yourself. Uh, very end of that last video, I took down that. I mean, I don't know if I ever considered like a boss fight, but it's like its actual first appearance. You know, it actually made its debut here. So I'm guessing it's like a standard boss fight. I'm guessing we'll be seeing that now. You know, now on the free world, I'm not quite sure. But um, any other level of support you guys treated so far in this series is greatly appreciated. And we're just getting started here, man. So I don't know how many parts I'll be doing or how many parts that there is. But kind of liking the momentum here going. So, but I love you all. Stay safe. Let's do this. All right, here we go. We're at the uh, main menu screen or the, uh, I would say inventory scheme or s skill screen. Sorry about that. <laughs> um... Let's see here. Combat. What we got? Uh, when dropping onto enemies. Okay. So we saw that earlier. What about this one? A powerful... Oh, hold up. Perform a powerful attack that deals more damage to interrupts enemies. Ooh, that should be good. Hold and release. 112... Wait a minute. 112 health required. Really? Um, perform a perfect dodge. Ooh. For when your enemy... Or hold up. Your enemy for longer and trigger... A slow mo effect that allows, okay. That should be good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. When enemy moves towards you, press. Ooh, I like this one a lot, so I'm gonna press this one. I like the, uh, yeah, stagger, the, the slow mo just to kind of interrupt them. I love that a lot. Um, all right, call for I don't know what's call for help. What does that mean? Maybe a multiplayer thing or online? I haven't tried it yet. I'm kind of nervous about it. Uh, okay, I got no health, guys. I think I got the one health, just one left. I don't know. Accessories got none of these. Uh, journal. Okay, so we're about to head right here. Just about right here. Okay. Yeah, I I stopped the game on the last video after beating that. Goon is boss by I, I don't know what you guys would call it in the world. Now I'm kind of wondering well, how did they get there so quickly? I'm kind of worried about these guys now. All right, here we go. Oh god. Man, thought for sure I was going to lose damage there, but luckily I didn't. In the world? Hmm. Really? Detective, maybe right here. Hold up, am I standing on it? Oh no, it's right there. There's a question mark right there, so I'll right, get back to it in a second. There you go. Ah, I just lightly pressed a uh, circle for that. There we go. Make sure I deal some damage to these guys. There you go. And down you go, mister. Or miss, sorry. Search all these guys. Obviously, they're gonna have empty, right? Yeah, all of them. Hmm. Um. Pick up. Oh, a shroom. Okay, I was like, wonder what is that for? Can't believe I even know what that was. Water runs out. We're all gonna be fucked. PK and civilian alike. All right. This guy's just chilling, eating an apple. Looks like it. Didn't we tell you not to? Oh, a pear. Excuse me. I don't know what that is. Yo, man, I love that now that I can actually jump a little higher now, maybe? I don't know. Uh, what is this? I hear you Heal. Wait, what? Oh, just drinking water, okay. Which, I'm already at full bar, so... I'll come back to that, so... Alright. Let me kind of jump from there if I can. There you go. Yo, I mean, I mean so far the series has been... Fantastic. Better than I expected. Uh, let's go through here. Or hold up. Kind of nervous about this jump. Okay, good. Because I don't want to be... It's just kind of like a letdown if I fail to attempt to jump, you know? There you go. We're here. Oh, yeah. Everybody's here. Some people that I don't even know. Oh, look at this big guy right here. That's the bodyguard. Hey, Herman. <sighs> Where's Sophie? <sighs> Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I guess that means I should wait here.
wow. Follow the voice. What in the world? It's like a dream or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is. Mia? Aiden, what's the matter with you? Mia, where are you? Oh, definitely a dream. As long as the fire is not touching me, right? I mean, this is not a real thing. Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked. And yet, I let him lead. Alright, why didn't you send Herman? Maybe it's con connected... Don't get too rolled up. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. I was going to say, yeah, Herman. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, He's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me or I'm watching over him. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. Hey, right, final question. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your help! Just st staring at me for a second. Like, uh, what now? <laughs> Alright, tell me more about Bertie. I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. That's pretty young. <laughs> too young. But he had no one else. So, I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides... I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Aid's all here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. 
You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear. Oh. I'll gut them. Hold on, what is these? Oh, there's some. Oh, wow, look at all this stuff right here. Peace. Let me search Peace. all this stuff first before I actually proceed, man. I don't want to miss none of these stuff. Um. Oh, wow, a uh, chopper pickup. This is 27. Um. Sure. Hold up. Oh, I picked it up, but I didn't actually. Oh, but you could still do that, though. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Even though this is, oh, this is a slow one. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just kind of, let, let's carry it for now. Might as well, because, because I like fast weapons. Fast weapons, of course, they get the job done. Oh, did I miss anything? Pick up a wiring. Oh, some wires. Okay, good. It's kind of weird, though, because, like, Oh, where are we on the map? It's kind of weird because like these types of weapons like that, it's it's heavy to use, but it's I mean it's still good. Don't get me wrong. But it's still like kind of it's when you're about to take a swing at it, and then the enemy still strikes you. You know? Oh wow, the sound of that. Ah, I love it. Um, all right. I'm gonna use my flashlight here. Something I forgot I have my flashlight. Uh, I guess go. Oh my god. I'm already afraid of afraid of heights, guys. Something I would not do in real life. Here we go. Oh god, oh god. Yo, how do I... <laughs> I forgot to roll, didn't I? There you go. Going to meet with HR. We haven't seen HR in a while. <clears throat> god. Uh, upstairs, yeah. Or should I even do that? Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, hopefully I can actually... Look at the stamina bar. Look at the stamina bar, stamina bar. <clears throat> God, oh, nearly made it. Jesus. Heard everything. Let's talk. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm going to search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. Oh, uh, why would they? Would that be a problem? That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden, along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie, I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Go uh. help Sophie. But be careful, Aiden. Join the party. Now I'm kind of skeptical because because they said uh, should I chase eight Atar or that was his name right? Okay. Probably like butchered already. So pick up all this stuff. I'm gonna need them. Health wise, definitely. Uh, okay. Some more blueberries. Nice. It's a blueberries, right? Ah, what did I just picked up? Or blue mushrooms? Or I don't know. What's the side here? Inhibitor container detected. Um, nail stick. I mean, yeah, sure, I could pick that up. Why not? Nail stick. Okay, that's a level two. Okay, I'll take whatever I can need because I think weapons and health more important. And get up here. Go help something. Yeah, I think I don't even know. It's like they're kind of, kind of like 
see which side I should be I should be on, you know? Hmm, flashlight. See, I always forget that, guys. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's why I got the skill point. <laughs> um, I guess climbing over here. Okay, good. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this game a lot. Some of you guys asked me because uh, I think there was a game for this for an, on the Switch. I think it was delayed until August. Somebody it's asked me if I'm going to look that up. Definitely will. It looks like Sophie's not here. I, I better look for her. Oh, well. Whatever happens to me, Scott London. All right, ask around. Sure. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? Did you take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. <laughs> that's all he says. Better for the world. Literally, that's all he says. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said, the, uh. She went that way. Exactly. Thanks. <laughs> Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with. Uh, uh, not working with the. Uh, it's broken. That. Uh, oh. Uh, Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? Um... It's not very interesting. I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. Tests? But you mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. There's a lot of questions I want to ask. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. All right, make question. Maybe I'll find him someday. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. All right, nice. So she's... Oh, she's right here. Really? What's she... 
I don't think she was there before. Nighttime bonus, really. Huh, I love that. Look at how beautiful that is. <laughs> Sorry, I had to take a minute. I'm gonna take, take out my flashlight. It's pretty cool. I mean, I don't mind doing missions here at nighttime because it does. They give you more XP points. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan. I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your hell! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? Um, about Mia. <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Well, all right then. The raid joins Sophie. Where's she at, though? She's right there. Okay, cool. All right. Well, something I haven't done in a while. Just make an outro for this one. You guys are the best audience ever. Appreciate the love and support you guys have been treating. I know you guys maybe are already further at this point. I mean, at this point already. But this game looks look so beautiful, man. Just want to just take a moment. Just see how this looks so gorgeous, man. My goodness. Anyways, I love you all. Be safe. Catch you guys on the next part. Take care.